I'm Roger Ames in the Department of Philosophy at the University of Hawaii and on behalf of our students and our colleagues I want to express our best wishes for the Wehiro Foundation on Ethics and Education who have now received the, this honor of being awarded the status of Public Interest Incorporated Foundation under the auspices of the Office of the Cabinet in the Government of Japan. The East-West Philosophers Conference Series that began at the University of Hawaii in the 1930s has grown to become the defining event of the comparative philosophy movement and the Department of Philosophy here at the University of Hawaii has become broadly acknowledged to be the world's center for comparative philosophy. We continue to establish the University of Hawaii as an institution that, reflecting our diverse community and our minority student body, challenge the professional discipline of philosophy to go beyond the Anglo-European narrative and to redefine the discipline itself to include all of the world's many rich cultural legacies. At the last conference in 2011 that was convened with the support of Weihiro Foundation on Ethics and Education, some 260 philosophers came from over 30 countries. Japan, of course, has been a prominent presence in this conference series from its inception with strong representation from the leading Japanese institutions. Thanks to the East-West Philosophers Conference, I started to reconsider my attitude to philosophy and try to find out the new style of philosophy. Hi, I'm Masato Ishida, a member of the Philosophy Department at the University of Hawaii and Manoa. Following in the wake of the East-West Philosophers Conference Series, our graduate students have created their Uehiro Cross Currents Conference Series that has grown into the premier international graduate student conference in comparative philosophy. It's getting better every year. We have great presentations from students all around the world. Now a decade old, the Wehiro Cross Currents Conference Series has become a signature of the university's commitment to both graduate education and to excellence in comparative philosophy. The community we end up building at this conference is one of a joint venture. Uh, the idea is that we are trying to foster a productive inquiry into really pressing issues in philosophy, but also in the world as a whole. This event is now able to extend its reach and influence with its own monograph series published by Cambridge Scholars Press that is edited from the presentations at the conference. Every year in the philosophy department, a competition is held for the best essay in East Asian philosophy and the successful student is sent as the Weihiro Scholar to represent the department with their paper presentation at the annual Society for Asian and Comparative uh, Philosophy Conference that is hosted somewhere in the world. The best and brightest from the University of Tokyo and Kyoto University have been regular participants at the Weihiro Cross Currents conferences from its beginnings. The continuing cooperation with Japanese institutions has led to the establishment of a highly successful three-week summer program in comparative philosophy that alternates between the University of Tokyo and the University of Hawaii. In August 2012, the inaugural meeting of the University of Tokyo, University of Hawaii Summer Residential Institute in Comparative Philosophy was convened in Honolulu with 40 faculty and graduate students drawn from our two institutions and beyond. A rotating series of lectures on Chinese and Japanese philosophy were complemented by a close reading of relevant texts, setting a high standard for this intensive workshop. The second iteration of this institute, hosted in Japan, focused on the theme of practice, and after two weeks of intensive lectures and workshops at the University of Tokyo, the group traveled to Eheiji and to Tentokuji to experience Zazen firsthand and to explore the inspired life of a Soto monk. This summer seminar was a perfect example of philosophical pedagogy in the real world. And as I bring my own philosophical career forward, I hope to embody myself this type of experience and give others this type of opportunity. Kokoro ka ore o moshiagemasu. Domo arigato gozaimasu. We have to be clear about the transformative effect these continuing opportunities have for our students and faculty in Hawaii and in Japan.
for the next generation of educational leaders, the conferences and institutes available for them are not only career changing, they are life changing. Participants not only become stronger in language proficiency and philosophical skills, they in fact become better people. They become cosmopolitan citizens of the world who understand that in an era of global interdependence, success will only come through the kind of collaborative and innovative programs the Weihiro Foundation chooses to support. The third institute is now in the planning and will be convened in August 2014 at the University of Hawaii on the theme, A Sense of Place. In the shadow of Mauna Kea, we will explore issues in the areas of environmental philosophy, somaticity, and topos. Aloha, I'm Thomas Jackson. I'm a member of the philosophy department and director of the Uhiro Academy for Philosophy and Ethics and Education. We are honored to be part of the Foundation's important work, both now and flowing into the future. Our efforts focus on working with schools and teachers, administrators, university faculty, and researchers. Dr. Toyota has been an important part of this. She's a source of inspiration and encouragement for all that we do. Aloha. I'm Dr. Benjamin Lukey. I'm fortunate to serve as the Associate Director of the Uihiro Academy. As associate director, I oversee the administrative needs required to grow the Uihiro Academy into a world-class location for research and innovation in education. In recent years, with Dr. Mitsuya Toyota, I have organized teacher and researcher exchanges between Japan and Hawaii. These exchanges encourage innovative approaches to moral education sensitive to their cultural context. Aloha, I'm Dr. Chad Miller, the Director of Teacher Development at the Uihiro Academy for Philosophy and Ethics in Education. To accomplish our goal, I lead workshops with kindergarten through 12th grade teachers, which helps them incorporate the activity of philosophy into their classroom practice. As a philosopher in residence at Kailua High School, I participate in philosophical inquiries with students and teachers. These opportunities encourage and challenge students to think collaboratively about meaningful topics that arise from their questions. With the resources made available by the Uihiro Foundation, I am able to use social media to raise awareness on the promising work of the Uihiro Academy. Aloha and congratulations. I'm Dr. Amber Strong Makayao. I am Director of Curriculum and Research at the Uihiro Academy. I am collaborating with leaders in the Hawaii State Department of Education to create and implement a brand new course titled Philosophical Inquiry. In this new course, students learn to think together about complex issues as ethically responsible members of their intellectually safe community. P4C in Hawaii changed my life. Last summer, I visited Waikiki Elementary School with Dr. Jackson and Dr. Kajitani. We participated in the P4C class, and I encountered a kind of education that I had never seen before. My hope is to practice such education in Japan. I'm a fourth grade teacher at Waikiki Elementary School. Um, what I love most about Philosophy for Children is the platform it provides for students and teachers and anyone who'd want to join. I've been doing P4C now for about three or four years um, and I find the importance of P4C it just gives uh, the students who are sh on the shyer side just an avenue to express themselves and their ideas. So it's a way to just really celebrate diversity I think and to create a nurturing environment um, to live in peace and harmony really. I think even though we do it in such a small community, it definitely has a larger message and allows them to, um, to utilize the life skills that they're going to need in the future. P4C is a really lively program. Uh, Dr. Jackson has contributed obviously a lot to the state of Hawaii. As a resident of the state, I feel quite inspired to utilize the pedagogical practices developed by P4C Hawaii. Um, it's really great for me to be able to use aspects from P4C Hawaii um, in my teaching specifically because they help me teach in a way that I've never actually been able to learn. So it's kind of a new experience um, and a special experience for me. What's extraordinary is that in our department, academic excellence and education are inseparable. My profound gratitude goes to the Uhiro Foundation for your generous support over the last nine years. It's made possible many new educational initiatives. It's established a solid relationship between P4C Hawaii and Japan. We are profoundly grateful to you for having made all this possible. Thank you so very much.